Hey friends, welcome back. Today is day number 19 and we are just one session away from the final step or final day of this 20 days of Kronos configuration series and I'm pretty excited about it and thank you so much for good response and um, I hope you had a good learning experience as well so far. So what do we have in store for day number 19? So let's go right into a pay policy so that we can see where we are. So in the last session, we've completed the, the building blocks. Um, the last session we saw sign of restriction and prior to that we saw punch interpretation rule, processing order, fixed rules. So these are the ones that we've seen under the payroll building blocks. Now, today we're going to cover holiday profiles now holiday profiles are not technically something that you will assign this under your pay rules. Having said that, you still need to know holiday profiles because the holidays that we've created earlier, so if you remember we've created holidays here and these holidays were assigned into the pay rule. Now let me tell you why you should be knowing holiday profiles and how that can be again connected with the pay rules though technically you do not assign the holiday profiles in the pay rules. Now to give you an illustration you you may have salaried employees you may have hourly employees now let's assume that you have 500 salaried employees and let's say 1500 um, hourly employees so for these two you just need two pay rules right so you can get away with just two pay rules. You can have one pay rule for salaried employees and one pay rule for the um, hourly employees. Now imagine hourly employees are spread across uh, or are all across um, the, the United States. Let's say that as an example because United States has a lot of different states and each state may have different, has a, uh, different holidays, uh, so to speak, um, based on um, the state holidays or uh, other legislative requirements. So if you have one pay rule for hourly employees and your 1500 hourly employees are in, in, in different states, they may have to observe different holidays. Maybe one state may have one holiday, the other state may not have that holiday. But as you know, all the holidays that you create are assigned in the pay rules. So if the hourly employees have just one pay rule, how are you going to assign them or unassign the holidays which are not for their state, right? So in that scenario, what you will have to do is you will have to use the holiday profiles. So though, as I said, though technically we do not assign the holiday profiles in the pay rules, However, I still wanted to cover this so that you know in case if you are creating a pay rule and you want to know how you can use or how you can rather than creating multiple pay rules for maybe for different states, um, you can use holiday profiles. Again, holiday profiles wasn't there earlier in the uh, older versions uh, prior to 8 but starting version 8, um, they've um, Kronos has introduced holiday profiles. So if you are somebody who is watching this video and are on a uh, lower version then um, you need to um, be aware that this was introduced in the in the uh, feature packs uh, releases uh, on, on version 8 and above um, that's just a FYI having said that let's go right into the holiday profiles and see how we can create holidays uh, inside the holiday profile. So as by now you might have got an idea about what holiday profile does. You can have 10 or 12 holidays but different depending on the different states you might want to group those holidays for that particular state so you can give the name for example if you want to give um, um, any if you're creating a holiday based on a different, uh, different state then the best thing would be to give the the name of that state so for example if I were to um, give you know what I'll just make it as easy I don't want to spend time in 
defining a particular state here. All right, so here's the holiday profile, and let's say you are creating a holiday profile for a particular state uh, of uh, Massachusetts. So here, all the holidays which are applicable for the state of Massachusetts, then you will put them right here. For example, Christmas Day, you will have, I'm not going to put everything, but just for example, I'll just go, I'm going to assign one more, let's say Good Friday, okay? So likewise, you may have seven or eight holidays, so you can do the same thing just to save time. So I've chosen the holidays, which are entitled for all the employees who belong to, let's say, one of the states, Massachusetts. So these are the holidays. Now, as you know, earlier we've learned that if the employee works on a holiday, they get a holiday credit. So you need to assign the default holiday credit. So this is something we've already created, if you remember. Holiday credit rules right here. And then zones zones something here so if you know that we've seen if you work on a holiday you get double time overtime or you may get compensatory off so for that reason you need to select the holiday credit rule and the zone rule now some of the holidays may have a different holiday credit rule so you can overrule that default one by selecting any other rule but if you select the the default one which is the default rules for this holiday uh, you don't have to select anything here neither here okay now once this is done I'll just make it as holiday profile demo so I'm going to click on the save and return now you may wonder all the things that we have done so far we've assigned that in the holiday uh, we've assigned that inside the pay rule or maybe in the work rule however holiday profiles are not assigned inside the pay rules there is no way you can assign that all you can do is you can assign the holidays but you cannot assign the holiday profiles now imagine you you created your pay rule and you already have all the holidays assigned but the holiday profiles that you have just created that will that will uh, overrule the holidays that you assign in the pay rules so now let me show you where you assign these holiday profiles so it's not in the pay rules but in the employment terms this is the section employment terms right here I'm going to expand that and click on employment terms now once it comes I'm going to click on new and I'll just name the same thing and here you can define the holiday profile the one that we just created where is that here it is holiday profile and then this employment terms in this um, there are a lot of other things which we are not going to cover now uh, but for now you can remember that holiday profiles are assigned under the employment terms so two things you have to do here first thing you need to assign the holiday profile and the second thing you need to give a start date and end date so typically the holiday starts from the start of the year so you can um, you can say start of the year so I will just select Jan 1st 2021 the moment it is up Jan 1st 2021 you can manually select as well or through the calendar and then I can say forever so it will keep repeating or if you want to give it for a particular um, month you can do that as well like till the end of the year and you can also say allow to process beyond end date so that it keeps repeating for beyond this year as well so that every year you don't have to change this so you can also put a tick mark here so allow to process beyond the end date so next year you don't have to make any changes so just two things that you have to do under the employment terms give the name the name should be same as this one because you may have holidays based on different states so if you're giving a uh, the same state name please make sure you put that in the name as well and then you give a name select the holiday profile give the start and end date so those are the few things that you need to do and uh, then these holiday profiles can be assigned to the employee so creating a holiday profile as you could see is uh, pretty simple I'm going to save this and um, just one more thing let me save this 
Now just one more thing, this holiday profile has to be assigned to the employee. So either you can create this um, through the interface, you can create the logic where the holiday profiles are assigned directly to the employees, you don't have to do anything. Um, or you can, because it's a one-time setup, you don't want to, you can also uh, assign this directly to the employee as a one-time setup. You can also, uh, by the way, give access to the managers so that their managers, you don't have to do it or administrators do not have to do it or the HR do not have to do it. The managers themselves can assign the holidays for their employees. So that was the thing that I wanted to tell you. So holiday profiles, a pretty small topic for today, uh, but next day uh, or the next session that we're going to have is the payrolls. I'm sure you all are excited about it. So am I. So that will be the last day of this 20 days of Kronos configuration series, uh, which will be the payrolls. All right. So before that, if you have any questions, comment, clarification, please put that down in the comment section. I know some of you have um, are, are following along with me. Um, so um, thank you so much for that. And uh, please do uh, like and let me know how did you find this this video and if you want to learn more about Kronos please do hit that subscribe button and also the bell button so that you get notified for the upcoming videos thank you so much and have a rest of the day great rest of the day